Hey guys, this is KJ48. Welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play. This is Alpha 9. We're on Season 4. This is Episode 4. And we just survived a pretty meager, meager attack. Um, everyone's fine. I think we're going to turn... We need a hospital bed. I just noticed up Randy when it's hurt. So I'm going to turn this one on a hospital medical bed. And we did hook up our geothermal generator, but we don't have it hook, hooked up to the power. So I forgot that part. So we're going to just hook that up to the power right through there and uh other than that um i think we're just waiting for people to do their thing we need we got a lot of building needs to be done uh power was a big concern of ours but now that's gonna be pretty okay i think uh, with the geothermal generator we do have plants ready to be picked uh our grower is mecky but he's gonna be doctoring and brandywine's our other person that can grow and she's in bed so um he's not healing brandywine there he goes maybe he's feeding her or something i don't know no, I think he was healing her. Oh, yeah, he healed her. Okay, she wasn't that hurt. Oh, we got a bunch of people visiting. We are low on food, but that's okay. We got some food here. Trade ship, trade ship. I'm not really concerned about trade ships just yet. Uh, severe illness for Combs. What's the matter with you? Uh, he's got an infection in the heart. Uh, his immunity development is 91%. Uh, and in the leg, and that's 91%. Once I get to 100%, he will be out of the woods. Let's just hope he makes it. Brandywine is fully healed. And it looks like we're doing okay. Uh, Combs, you gonna you going to make it, bud? Are you going to make it? 98, 99, 100. There we go. And he is fine. He's developed immunity. By the way, you can see the little uh, next treatment after so many days. That's one thing I missed. Um, you know, some of these uh, things are hidden in menus. or Maybe I'm just not recognizing them. It's fine. Um, we are going to need some more sandstone walls for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bill. I did notice the problem with the bill last time. Um, so let's go ahead and make... Uh, stone... Make sand pile? I don't know what I need that for. We're going to make sandstone blocks, and we're just going to make sandstone chunks for now. Hopefully we have some more sandstone around. Um, and do this uh, forever. I'll take care of it if it gets to be too much. We have more sandstone blocks. Oh yeah, we got we got sandstone blocks. We don't have a crafter though. Who is our crafter? Um, you're the crafter. Okay. What were you doing? Construction? Forget construction. Oh well, yeah, go to go to construction. We'll do crafting on a th number three. So once you're done growing, you'll start making more sandstone blocks. And while they're doing that, we will give power to these doors. Okay, that's enough for this way. Let's go ahead and cancel this. Um, because... I want him to start mining out this area. Um, well, I want it. To, I want the door to be right here, but I, I guess it could be here. That's fine too. <laughs> All right. Uh, unlock mechanical walls. Let's take a look at the mechanical walls. Structure. Uh, mechanical walls. How much are the limestone ones? 50 steel and 50 limestone blocks. An impassable mechanized wall. Wow. That's pretty expensive, though. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, let's take a look at some more research. We got uh, offense. How about Or utilities. Let's take a look at utilities. Mm. Right, we got some cargo crashed. Not very big deal there, but this stuff is pretty good. Pretty far away, though. So you can trade with good with trade goods people, even through a, a roof. Um, because this is indoors, and on my, I know I didn't do it on this Let's Play, but I have done trading through uh, indoors areas. Um... So that's pretty cool. Alright, they're going down there to haul. 
And now the batteries are just going crazy with the geothermal generator. We should probably set up another battery. Although we don't have a ton of uh, resources, so let's just wait. Yeah, this stuff is all sandstone. Come on, I really need to recruit that guy. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Uh, we could do deep storage. Uh, unlocks researching deep storage units, which are capable of holding a large amount of items. Um, power gen. Unlocks researching of tier 1 power generation techs. Interesting. Let's, um, let's go with the power generation techs. A lot of research. Just taking one of my guys like completely out of the uh, equation. <laughs> He's just spending all his time researching. Okay, who's my miner? Miner. Oh, I don't have one. Brandywine's the miner. And she's doing construction first. That stuff needs to be made, so... I guess it's fine. Oh, I never put down the, um... The, the lamps. The, uh... The sun lamps. One right there, and one right there. They take a lot of power. And we'll just have this run right through here. Come on, man. I need you to make some more blocks. Will he just grab these automatically? Yes, he will. Even if they're not set to haul, he'll grab them automatically. That's awesome. It really takes a lot of resources to make these walls. Like, I didn't realize. How many? How much does it take to make one of these walls? Sandstone wall? It's only six sandstone? I'm going through a lot. Hmm. Interesting. Brandywine, you mine. You mine, my friend. Mind your own business. Just kidding. Come on, finish up. Oh, he's, he's, he's harvesting. That's important. Okay, let's go ahead and put these sandstone doors in. And let's finish these walls. And let's put a couple beds in there. You don't need, um... You don't need lights into people's bedrooms. Uh, because they're just sleeping in there, so... That's, some, that's something else I was told. I always make the same mistake in every Let's Play. I never... You see rain got in there? You see how the rain got in there and, like, uh, short-circuited the sun lamp? But the thing is, the rain's the rain's there, so it just puts out the uh, it puts it out right away. But still, I do want it to be enclosed. All right, so right now Mech is not making more blocks. He's doing the the plant stuff, which is fine. I don't really have nothing I can do about that. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a sun lamp thing. Who cares? Combat supplier, meh. Alright, let's see who's the social person. I guess the, the warden would be the social person, so that's Custer. So, Custer dog, I don't know what you're doing, but stop and call the combat supplier. Alright, what do we got here? So, we can sell him medicine. Uh, he can sell us medicine. Honestly, 22 is pretty good for medicine. Is there anything we can sell him? No, not really. Um, I would like some sniper rifles. He's got a normal sniper rifle, but it's out of my it's out of my price range. So I'm gonna buy some of his medicine. Like twenty. Oh look at this little bastard. Somebody kill that thing. Oh, you can stop. Just finish the walls, guys. Mecky, get up and make rocks, bro. No, no, no. 
Whoa, what the hell? That was that? Did f oh, a boom. It's called a boom rat cage. It exploded. Duh. That's funny. Sorry, Brandy One. Didn't mean to have a boom rat explode on you. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Freaking boom rat. I'm like, why did he explode? Why did that boom rat explode? Yeah, pretty funny. Can anybody else do crafting? Custer, just freaking do crafting, please. Why is this guy so hard to... to recruit? It's 30% difficulty. I guess Custer Dog's, um... skill might not be up that much. Uh... No, it's not. That's not Custer Dog. That's Custer Dog. Yeah, it's social 7. But it is, he is leveling up his social, which is nice. So I'll have him cut up the rocks while uh, Mickey is doing the is doing the uh, farming. Okay, so I'm thinking what we should do is we're gonna set up a zone here, a stockpile, and we're gonna set up this stockpile for. Uh, sandstone chunks. Okay. And then we're going to do is we're going to make this stockpile priority critical. And that way, then we're going to need a hauler. And what they'll do is they'll bring this stuff over there. Um, so we're going to need a hauler. Uh, we don't want anybody hauling that's not supposed to. Now, who can haul? We don't want the grower to haul. You know, we don't want mech to haul at all. Maybe Custer could haul. Yeah, let's have Custer haul. Enough researching for now. Um, enough of that. So we'll have him craft and then haul. I also want this to be where... Um, hold on. Manufactured... Uh, no. Items, weapons, apparel, body parts. Resources. Manufactured. Medicine. Textiles? What is that? No, that's not it. Items. Hmm. I kind of want the bricks to go over here as well. But I guess that's not as important. There he goes. Look at him bringing stuff. Oh. He's actually... Okay. Mech, what are you doing? He's building. Okay, so Custer, now I want you to stop crafting and just do hauling. And now Mecky should start cutting stuff up. And Custer should start bringing stuff over here. He's not. He is cooking. Well, that's, that's okay. Cooking. Yeah, cooking takes priority for sure. As a matter of fact, let's put this on three and put this on four. Come on, get up, Mecky. All right, Brandywine's about to finish this place. We got a fire. Easily put out. Alright. Mickey's doing his thing. Custer's hauling. He's bringing stuff. Alright, he's bringing the chunks up to here. Okay, now... now okay, so Mickey is bringing the, the bricks over here. I don't want that. So, what we do is we go to the bill and go to the options thing and do... Okay, so we do... Drop on floor. And then he'll just drop it right on the floor as he's making these items. Because him going over here and putting the items over here is just a waste of time for people. Need people to work together. The crafter should be crafting the entire time. The uh, hauler should be bringing stuff to the crafter. Stuff like that. See? Actually, that is much better. Someone gave me that tip on uh, the stream and it was a really good tip. Alright, summer's begun. Might have started thinking about air conditioning. I 
I should have made more rooms outside, I think, next Let's Play. I'll set up for six rooms outside, even when I only need three. Um, I never make enough rooms. There's like, f like 50 different things to think about during this game, and, you know, it's just hard to remember everything. Come on, Custer. Okay, so this stuff's almost done. This is done, now this is indoors. And it should, uh, it should, uh, farming should be, I think farming should even be okay in here during the winter. So that's good. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to power and we're going to run some power over here. There we go. Now, once uh, Brandywine's done uh, building this whole area, she should start mining again, which is important. We need more mining. Look at Mechie go, man. He's a beast. Yeah, hauling is like... Man, hauling is key to this game. Like, you start getting behind on it, man, and it's just like, whoa... But I think this is working out well. I think we've got a good setup here. We are going to need some more iron, though. Orders. Mining. And I hope there's some more iron somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. If this is the last iron vein, we're in trouble. Okay, here we go. So let's set up some beds. Okay, we got a... Uh, do we have any specific bed owners in any specific bed? I don't really think it matters. So actually, we don't need any, any different bed owners. Hey, look, they're eating on the uh, on the stonecutter's table. That's cool. Well, one thing's for sure. We've got plenty of food now. Matter of fact, I might want to shut down one of these farms eventually. Okay. Alright, Brainy Wine's still building. Should be just about done now. Architect, let's see what we're looking at for the power. Yep, everything's done. Is there one here? Oh, we couldn't put one there. Okay, we just put one there then. Orders hall. What do we got here? Trade ship. Custard dog successfully recruited. We don't have anything to sell, so and we don't really have a lot of money, so there's no point in talking to any trade ships. It all seems like we're just waiting, you know, now at this point. Did I recruit my guy? Yeah, I recruited Combs. Cool. <laughs> I missed it. All right, let's take a look at Combs, shall we? All right, he is a good constructor. That's good. Let's put him on number two. We'll put that on one. Put patient on one. Put repairing on one. Construction on two. He's a decent miner. Um... Yeah, you can haul and clean. Decent miner? Yeah. Definitely mining. Also a decent hunter. Okay, he's good. He's good. Very very good. That is very nice. Let's set some home zones as well. Add home region. There we go. I kind of like this setup right now. I think we're just going to keep everything the way it is for the time being. Honestly, you only need really one hauler. But the thing is that one hauler should be permanently hauling. Okay, we are now out of iron. And I don't see any and that's not good. Mm. Ugh. Is that the closest iron? There's steel. 
We should have built into this side. Then we could have got the steel from the other end. Crap. Yeah, it looks like that's probably the closest steel. Nah, yeah, it's not that bad, I guess. Mine. No. Architect mine, there we go. And then we will open this up for the refrigerator. Yeah, refrigerator. We're also going to have to open this up for the exhaust to come out. And haul. Now we're just waiting. Just waiting now. You know what? Let's build another... Eh. I was going to say we should build some more batteries, but I think I want my next set of batteries to be inside. It's my... Whoa, hold on. A local squirrel again, huh? Turrets will make short work of you. Come on, get him. Kill that squirrel. Ha <laughs> ha That's what you get. Coming to my town. Okay, looking good, looking good. I think what we'll do now is we will make some furniture. How about a uh, long steel, a lo not a long steel table, but a long wood table. With some stools. And then let's go ahead and make a... Um, let me see. Production. Let's go ahead and make a... Butcher's table and a cooking stove. Butcher's table. Cooking stove. Then we'll bring the power right down in the middle. And we'll put a standing lamp. One standing lamp right in the middle should be just good enough. And some more hauling orders. And what do we got here? Oh, group of hungry, whatever the hell. Whatever. Man, we got a lot of food. Jesus. I might want to think about shutting down one of those farms for the time being. Alright, we got an attack now. And it looks like they're attacking right away. I think I see some spear and some melee weapons. Um, let's go ahead and turn on our defenses. Uh, we're going to want to upgrade our defenses pretty soon. Um, two turrets on each side is just not, not going to be enough for long. All right, Doc, get up. I want you to be shooting. Brandywine, same with you. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh, Combs. Oh, Combs is good, but we don't have a gun for him. That's right. Doesn't he have, like, good stats? Ugh. Sorry, Combs, I don't have a gun for you. I don't think we're going to need you anyway for this one. Custer, where the hell are you going? You're going the wrong way, way around, dude. Oh, there is no other way around. Never mind. Yeah, keep throwing your spears, bro. That's going to do you real good. Nah! They destroyed and blew themselves up, and he's not even dead. He's going to run away. I'll never get to him. It doesn't matter. All right, so we got two people on the ground here. Um, he's in shock. He's dead. All right. Let's go for the guy in shock. Let's take a look at his stats. 
Yep. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Um, we should have a room for him, so, uh, Mac, why don't you go grab him? Uh, capture. And then you two are just go back to your whatever you were doing. Um, actually, you know what? I want you to strip him. And then I want you to get rid of him. F, F, F. The nice part about this prisoner area is um, it's really close to the med kits, which is nice. So prisoners can get healed when, when they need to. Alright, go there. We're going to look at you. Let's look at this prisoner tab. 74%. Eh, it's good enough. Give him medicine and talk to him. See if we can save him. Or just go eat med. No problem. Med's like, what do I care, man? He's an enemy. I'll heal him when I get to it. Look at him go. Look at him go. Healing him up. Love it. Not too many great healing jobs, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, guys. That was my timer, so we're going to call this one here. Uh, that's going to be it for episode four. We'll see you next time for episode five. Till then, take it easy.